Last time I developed the new assets architecture and in order to test it out, I needed to wire it to my user interface. I was awaited, however, with a technical debt that I finally had to pay. The first version of my UI was done in 2017 for the internal sprite editor. It started out as any drawing tool where you can place colors on pixels, but soon started getting unique features such as normal painting to allow for dynamic shading. Landmarks were added to mark body joints, and before long the whole screen was filled with all the tools displayed at once. When I started drawing the characters from 8 directions, the number of sprites grew so large I needed a better way to organize them, a real file system with folders and a UI to quickly navigate it. The old interface had to go and I wrote a user interface library called Fata Morgana that added standard components such as a menu, tabulated panels, and a toolbox. With a better managed screen real estate, it was easy enough to add features such as layers and the ability to have multiple sprites opened at once. I also rewrote all the tools to use the new architecture and updated them with new features like drawing pixel-perfect diagonals. Meanwhile, in the game itself, the drawing app was still using the old components, resulting in duplicated and outdated code. It would be wasteful to integrate my new assets architecture with the old tools, so I finally implemented the in-game editor with the Fata Morgana library. Here's how the UI looked with the old system. And here's how it looks now. If you don't see much of a difference, that's a job well done. There are some immediate benefits too. My old pencil tool was not able to draw strokes and would undo each pixel individually. The new implementation connects the dots and undoes each stroke at once. You can now even draw lines by shift clicking. Unfortunately, all this took quite some time, so I wasn't able to connect the UI with the new assets architecture yet. I hope I get to do it soon, in the future. I'll see you there.